dust at the stones No broken promises, no busy tones Just what it takes, just make believe No one belongs to anything I've seen the lies, I've seen the lies I've seen the lies, train go by It's kill or be killed from the Peterson Health Digital Studio at Pine Plow Brewing Company in Kerrville, Texas, this is the lead live for April 2nd, 2024. And we are thrilled with our show today. A couple of people didn't show up. Doug has a day off today. He just texted me right now. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you. I don't know where Julie Davis is at. She's probably dealing with Eclipse stuff. Janelle is standing by. Our original guest couldn't make it because she had a conflict this morning. So we will rebook her. That's uh, uh, Jessica Huseman from Vote Beat. We'll get to it, though. Show's brought to you, of course, by our good friends at Peterson Health. They are elevating health care across Kerr County and the Texas Lake Country. Also, Shriner University has got a whole load of events going on starting Thursday with the related to the Eclipse. Ken Supple Ford, for all your service needs, give them a call today at 830-257-5557. And Fitch Estate Sales, Rachel Fitch will be here tomorrow. Gibson Discount Center. Wild Birds Unlimited, Nemke Physical Therapy, and K-Pub, safe, reliable, and yours. And Kerbal Pets Alive, Kill Your Money Manufacturing, and Arcadia Alive. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. The Hook and Tree Podcast with Tom Fox. Our good friends over at Phoenix Wellness Center, uh, a.k.a. Fresh and Fit. Greg A. Richards, Attorney of Law, and the Kerbal Convention and Visitors Bureau. Napa Auto Parts. Kirk County Optic and Tyler Company, Texas Country Advisors, and our good friends at In of the Hills. Don't forget to get your vehicle service today uh, for all your service needs. Make an appointment at Quick Lane. They are great. 830-257-5557. Well, good morning, everybody. It is, uh, it is, we're approaching rapidly. Believe it or not, we're approaching lap rapidly. Eclipse. 2024. We are on the countdown days for the eclipse. And uh, let me give Janelle a, a look at my groovy graphic, Janelle. Look at this. What do you think of this? Okay, let's see. Can you see it now on your screen? Yes, you've got the little the feed, the eclipse feed. We got the eclipse feed of all the stuff and things going on. So that's exciting. We've got a, uh, Janelle is remote for the first time, and uh, let me show, we we'll yeah. get to you, moving things around. How are you? I'm good. What's I'm going good. on? What's going on I'm, in your I'm world? Happy just, to join you today. Maybe, there you go. We've got a better shot there. Uh, okay. Let me see. Let's see. It's Tuesday. We are six days away from the eclipse. We were talking about yesterday that, um, you know, you're excited about this thing. If we get a little mm -hmm. bit of rain, all the all the wildflowers will, will bloom, all the blue bonnets will come mm -hmm. up, mm -hmm. and you will be you will be in heaven because it'll be so beautiful to showcase this community. Is that am it, I accurate? Today, I mean it's gonna be a gorgeous day today. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It's a gorgeous day. Well, yesterday was such a crazy day. You know, it was like eighty degrees. Uh or it was eighty four mm -hmm. degrees was the high yesterday. It started off kind of cool and cloudy. And then it then it cleared, and then it was warm again, and then all of a sudden, late last night or in the evening, you know, we had a little thunderstorm come through, and boom, there it was. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and how lucky were we that we didn't end up with the softball size hail and the sheer winds and all of that I stuff? I know it was looking pretty. It was looking pretty, pretty like that might be a thing for a minute there. Mm -hmm. Like I was sitting in my office last night, and I was like typing away, and boom, and I hear you know like the trees being hit with with, with winds. And I got up, and it was starting to sprinkle a little bit. There was a little bit of hail, but it just, I like, oh. And we have to move my car somewhere else? So, no, I did not have to move my car. I, I, yeah, uh, our friends to the north in Oklahoma, I think, took the beating for us. 
They're always good for that. They're always good for, for a good beating every <laughs> once in a while. So let me get a couple of news and notes before we talked about uh, real estate with uh, Janelle. Uh, again, it, we are on we are on the countdown for the eclipse. I went over to the Hill Country Arts Foundation yesterday and talked to um, Jenna Peterson and Sarah DeRoso. They're expecting to have 2,300 people on their property at the Hill Country Arts Foundation in Ingram on Monday. Uh, they have 73 campers that are coming in RVs or tent camping along the river there. Uh, what's interesting was they were talking about some of the, the foreign visitors that are coming. They have folks from England, Germany, New Zealand, uh, Finland all coming. And they have like, like a high school group from South Africa that's coming to be on the camp on the, on the campus of, uh, you know, the Point Theater and, and Hook and Arts Foundation. So that was interesting. And then I was talking to Shriner yesterday on the show, and the great and powerful Adrian Wingard said that they are going to have a similar, you know, number of uh, people from England and Germany and all over the United States are coming to see this. And so, uh, and and then by the way, this morning the National Weather Service continued to downgrade its forecast for Monday. From at one point they had a forty some forty percent chance of rain to a now it's now a 30 percent chance of showers uh on on monday it still could be cloudy but at the end of the day it's 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 you know you're still going to experience four and a half minutes of totality so janelle have you figured out where you're going to camp out yet or where, where's your what's your location going to be you know the parolls are going to try and stay homebound to the best of our ability yeah um we we might have guests my son's in town right now so that's nice but right. We're, we're on the lookout. I was contacted by one of my clients yesterday that he has a vacant lot next to his condo and he found people setting up a camp on it. Oh my gosh. Um, so property owners pay attention, pay attention. Yeah. The last thing you want are squatters, you know, and, uh, but there, there's, there's that, there's that temptation for a lot of people. My concern remains the freeway because, you know, people might just, cause you know, here in Texas, we know we have the, we have the, yeah. The lovely, you know, frontage roads, which are which are terrific, but mm -hmm. they're also you can stop on them <laughs> and just park. I guess. I mean, I don't know how the tech side's going to enforce that. It's going to be interesting to see how that works out. So, all right. So, I think the people without a plan mm -hmm. are going to be the, the the most compromising of it all. Oh yeah, the ones that just show up without any real without any real sort of plan, you know, and that's where that's where Exit we're going to run. Strategy. Yeah. Um, and I'm also thinking that, you know, a lot of people are starting to ask questions like, well, where's the traffic study at? Traffic plan. Well, go to CurvoEclipse.com and they have that for you. I'll post it today on my website and share that out. But um, the city has been, I mean, hyper focused on communicating these issues. But, you know, it's just like the it's just like anything else here in town. It's like uh, uh it's like the triathlon, you know, the triathlon is always like that last weekend in September and inevitably someone will be furious that, that their, their, their way is blocked because the bicyclists are inconveniently, you know, making a mess of their time. So there you go. Uh, anyway, that's enough for that for right now. But, but signs are up around town. I know they're up. I mean, I'm seeing the traffic signs pop up everywhere. They're, they're there. They're there. Uh, all right. A couple of quick things for you guys. So we talked to Hook and Sharps Foundation. They are getting ready for the big crowds. Starting, uh, starting, you know, basically Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Sunday is when they see the biggest crowds come in. So Shriner's got a ton of events going on. They have events every single day. Everything is free except for a wine tasting thing on Thursday night over up the hill, which is where uh, the Curve Hills Winery is now at. And uh, parking is going to be charged. They're going to charge for parking. So. Uh, keep an eye on that one. There is another event now at the that was supposed to be at the Loop Old Ingram Loop uh, that's been moved to City West Church on Junction Highway. They're going to have a shuttle between the church and Hill Country Arts Foundation, but there's a forty dollars charge to park your car there. Uh, here's a fascinating story for you politically. Uh, the the people who complain about out of towners. Uh, yes. We the People, Liberty in Action, they are hosting, uh, having an out-of-towner moderate their candidate forum uh, on the city council. Now, here's the thing, right? Why would any city council member or candidate go to their forum that is funded essentially by West Texas oil billionaires? 
and it features a guy named Luke Macias, who's a podcaster of the Texas Scorecard. And now he runs Defend Texas Liberty. The reason why he runs Te- Defend Texas Liberty is because the previous uh, person that ran it spent seven hours in the company of a Nazi. True story. Oh, my. Yeah. Uh, the Texas Tribune had reported that the previous fa- uh, lead of the Te- Defend Texas Liberty had spent seven hours with this guy named Nick Fuentes, who believes in, believes in the power of Adolf Hitler and his white supremacist. So, yeah, they had to make a change there, and they made a change. But these guys are funded by Tim Dunn and Ferris Wilkes, who gave money to We the People to, um, or helped We the People with the GOP uh, primary last month. And um, by the way, so they're they're saying all candidates, oh, are, are welcome. But they've already endorsed Barbara Duell Ferguson and Roman Garcia, and they've given a backhanded endorsement to Brent Bates without endorsing him. They won't endorse him by name, but they say that Kent McKinney's basically the same as Brenda Hughes and Joe Herring. <sighs> this group is planning an event on April 18th. This is where Macias will moderate. This is 6:30 a.m. at 6:30 p.m. at the Western Hills Baptist Church. The Democrats, uh, the Democratic women, are hosting a, an event today at 11 uh, for their candidate forum. Which, by the way, Roman Garcia was supposed to attend, and he didn't like the rules, uh, so he pulled out. Now, I suspect strongly last year. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to confront all those Democrats. I'm like, you know what? You guys probably voted for Roman Garcia last year because he had just enough votes to to, to beat him. And I was like, it's got to be the Democrats. Got to be the Democrats. Uh, because he, you know, he he spoke to them last year. And I heard that it was very positive. Well, I was there. He was he was very positive. They, you know, he was he's very charming and, and personable. Uh, unless you get him in front of, you know, a mayor or somebody of, of who has expertise in his system, and then he'll just shoot them down. So um, that's today. Uh, Brenda Hughes, Joe Herring Jr., Ken McKinney, and maybe Brent Bates are all expected to attend this event and to share their words with the with the Democratic women. Uh, that's at 11 o'clock over at Rails uh, Cafe Center. I think it's pretty much sold out, so we'll have to figure that out. Um, Kerr County Judge Rob Kelly has implemented a limited burn ban and a no-dig order this week. You can't dig stuff. You know why? Because if you dig stuff, there's a chance you might blow somebody up so or cause a problem, and that's uh, got some people riled up because, you know, oh, well, we, gotta, we, have, our, we have our trenching work to do. And it's like, yeah, well, if, if there's a million people here and you decide on a Saturday or a Sunday or you, you even work on Monday and you blow somebody up, uh, there's not going to be uh, – you're going to cause a problem. And so uh, probably a smart move by the judge, probably not a popular move among those who are, are, are in yeah, that I, area. I, I love the thoughtfulness that's you know, going into these plans. I, I'm really curious to see, you know, in hindsight, what what we got right and what we didn't get wrong and yeah. how it compares to everything else that's been done. All right. Because, you know, I, I appreciate all the efforts and all the meetings that everyone's throwing at this thing. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, it, it really has been. You're right. It's been a thoughtful process, and it's gone on for, you know, this is years in the making. And then there's this furious debate over, you know, um, you know, Rachel Fitch made it con- compared it to Y2K. Like we're doing, we're freaking out over this. But if you really think about it, really nobody knew for sure. Even the computer people, they had a pretty good feeling toward the end there that it wasn't going to be a problem. But you know, everyone was like, "Well, take precautions." You know, it's like a hurricane. Mm-hmm. Preparedness. Preparedness. It's like a hurricane. You know, you, you know, a hurricane mm-hmm. you can kind of see coming. Ice Get storm. Ice yeah. storm. Preparedness. Yeah. Preparedness. Get out of the way. Although nobody prepared us for the fact that that ice storm was going to be like just brutal for days on end. Oh, my God. I'm still traumatized by that. But I don't blame anybody for it. I don't blame anybody that it was the, it was the uh, you know, it was just worse than people expected. So, and if anybody, I always thought the people too, the ice storm just backing up here for a second here, uh, just to vent mm-hmm. for a second. Mm-hmm. I love the people like, oh, well, that's how it is all the time in, you know. Minnesota and, and, and mm-hmm. Canada. I'm like, mm-hmm. Yeah. This would be bad for even you people. This was bad for people who were not prepared for it. And it was bad no matter how you look at it. So, you know, like, you know, and, and the part of it was that, that we're not prepared for that kind of extended oh, weather. From a real estate perspective, yeah. nothing here is built below the freeze line. Oh, nothing. Nothing. Because it's rock. Right. So, 
um, it's not been tested like that before to even know what you're up against. Yeah, you're right. And that, and that's something that, you know, we, we faced a, a, a real crisis during that, but it was anybody's fault. Not really. Well, you know, you could maybe blame it no, on but, global, you know, global warming, and climate change. A little bit of water, some batteries, some basic, you know, um, yeah. The basics. Not well, saying you have to, you know, have a fort, but yeah. the basics. You Believe know, me, self reliance. I have yeah. a, I have several jugs of uh, non potable water to flush my toilets if there's another ice storm. You, you know, better they, believe it. You know, that's the thing that we learned from this. So, so people are all fired up about the eclipse, and they're like, "Oh, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal." Mm-hmm. But then you talk to like the people who are actually organizing, like uh, the Hill Country Arts Foundation or Shriner. They know. They know that there are people coming from all over the world to experience this thing, and that's something that uh, is very, very interesting to uh, to think about. Again, um, the events uh, there's 31 events Sunday and Monday connected to the uh, eclipse. There's 56 Thursday through Monday, uh, just eclipse events. We have more than 120 events this week. Um, today's the lightest day of the, of the week. There's like two things going on today. And then, ne- then tomorrow it just gets, it ramps up and then Thursday it's on. So, uh, check out with our, our website. We've got all the news and notes for that as well. Uh, Janelle, what's going on in the real estate market? How are you doing? Well, so over Easter weekend and holidays can be chicken or feathers as yeah. you know, as, is the practice. Yeah. Sometimes you get lots of people in town looking for things and sometimes, Less so. Yeah. So it was a little paltry this weekend. And uh, by Monday, the calls are starting. Uh, my clients are coming Wednesday. My clients are coming Thursday. People are getting, oh, I think I want to have my property online in time. Oh, we need this. We need that. So I, I think in the final moments, everyone's scrambling right. um, to get their best face on and get in front of all these eyeballs um, that we're going to have. Um, our community and our lovely weather and our beautiful scenery will be on Showcase. And, you know, people are going to check it out, try it on. What would it be like to have a place Boy, here? Boy, this week, I mean, I'm telling so you, here we go. I'm telling you this week right now is absolutely going to be spectacular. I mean, it's one of those weeks like, you know, Saturday was nice. Sunday was beautiful. I'm telling you right now, we have some of the best weather Chambers in the country. We have some yeah. of the best weather in the country. I'm telling you, you know, it's just fantastic. And so um, people are like, you know. To me, you're like, why do you live in? T- isn't it hot there? I'm like, I'm from the deserts of California. My God, this is this is paradise. Sometimes, you know. This is topography. Yeah. This is, you know, mountains, creeks. Well, mountains is, is reaching a little bit, but right. you know, we've but got still, we're at, hillsides. We're at eighteen hundred. We're eighteen hundred feet with great with great air. We have great air quality. We have great, you know, great water. And so I'm, you know, it's it's it's. One of those things, like, I get it. When you, if you live somewhere else in Texas, like, you know, I've lived up in, worked up in Greenville in the Dallas area. I'm like, yeah, I couldn't wait to get back to the Hill Country. There's just no, there's no, there's no, there's no question. Completely. There. So, uh, what do yeah. you, uh, yeah. what do you think people are going to be looking at here as far as houses go? What do you, what do you, what, are, what, are, what are, what's the biggest question? Oh, you, I, you know, I think the curiosity, we'll see that it, it will speak to what kind of profile of people actually come to visit, what connects with them, you know, the most. Yeah. I would say most of, people who have a dream of living in the hill country you know they want land they want small acreage they want to be out of town they want you know they want our nature component in their lives and we agree you know like that's part of what we celebrate we just spoke about it yeah um, but you know for a long time we had a huge draw with retiree snowbird type folks and so i think that's still in play i think yeah. we get high marks for our standard of living in those respects so We'll we'll see what profile of folks we get. Um, I I don't. I'm I'm not super versed in what passionate astronomical event followers are most into. Right. But I'm gonna know more. On right. The next week when we talk, right, we'll yeah. know things. Exactly. You're like, oh, well, listen. Um, there's a dark sky. It's a dark sky sky community. It's a it's a community with uh, an amazing number of events and live music and, and, uh, and, you know, fun things to do here. So, I mean, that's, that's, yeah. what, that's and my, maybe my it's an excuse point. to just come be in the hill country. Like, you know, all the rumors about who's rented camps out and these compounds and people paying astronomical prices for vacation rental situations. Um, 
it's it's all interesting and and we'll see how it goes down um i i'm in awe of the people coming yeah um, anyone who's been around anyone who's ever planned a wedding or even like a hundred guests right. and the monumental task that, that is we're talking about you know 150,000 people right. like it's staggering um you know what's about to go down and, right and we'll see how we fare on it right but i i've already i'm already getting the calls that people are working in their other stuff seemingly right now before the event but that may just be semantics and timing like if i'm hearing from them now it's because they're coming before right and it, you know as we get deeper into the weekend it may be more of an after um as well so yeah it just amazes me like i mean we'll this see. is this is one of those things like you said before like i mean how many of us actually you know go around and we fantasize about you know living in a different place you know i, I remember thinking that pretty heavily when we were going to waco all the time uh you know because you know living in california we were like you know maybe a change would be good you know and and we were mm -hmm. going to mm -hmm. waco because you know the uh you know going to baylor and uh, you know, and I, and we, you know, we, we enjoyed it. You know, I enjoyed, actually, I liked Waco a lot and I still like Waco. So, you know, there's a lot going I, on I there. I think it's, yeah, it's germane to the human brain mm -hmm. to travel to a new place right. and go, what would it be like to live here? Exactly. Whether it's a place you would consider or not, part of experiencing a new place is what would it be like to actually call this place home right Whether, and, wherever and, it is and you were just and in a place we're, like we're about to be front and center yeah you were you were just in oregon you know so you, you, and you're mm -hmm. from oregon mm -hmm. right so yes is there, is there i mean i've been here over 30 years so yeah yeah, yeah you're yeah. basically a texan so just deal with it uh what, what, what is there a place you would go like you, you think to yourself oh, i'm gonna move there do you have any of those uh those ideas do you have like a like a like a no, fantasy spot no, you know i'm I, I'm, I, I like to be outdoors. I, I like the lesser traffic situation here. Mm -hmm. I think people are generally neighborly and good citizens for the most part to each other. So I kind of really enjoy that quality of life here. Right. Now, if funds were no option, you know, could I split my time somewhere when we hit 95 degrees? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I would be open to, right. to traveling about um, when we get to the part of the summer where we earn our keep here right exactly and that's where and that's the that's the tough part is that you know um i, I i'm always amazed at people who like they 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 don't like the heat or the winter and they move somewhere else you know like for the for that period um i i don't know i find that uh you know i find that a little i find that a little challenging <laughs> at times i don't like the summers here so i want to move i want to move someplace that's where it's cooler but you know, I think uh, yeah. I, there's a lot of people like that. There's a lot of snowbirds. There's a lot of folks out there. Hey, if you have the discretionary income to be anywhere you want to be, mm -hmm. and I've sold lots of property yeah. in this area to people who are like, uh, we like where we live except when the weather gets brutal. So yeah. we want to come be with you. Right. Um, okay. Well, come on. Let's do it. Like, this is this is a nice place to be. Um, people... Uh, th there's a number, there's a percentage of people I work with that age out of cold weather, uh, accumulating snow. Yeah. Come on. You don't have to shovel sunshine, right? Right, right, exactly. I think that I would get sick of snow after about one day. Or well, actually, I know I'm sick of snow after about one day. The minute it starts melting, looks like, you know, just, you know, looks like debris everywhere. I mean, then I'm like done with it. Uh, and I don't like bitter cold because it just hurts. And I, I, I can't tell which one is worse, you know, 108 degrees or make negative 30, you know, or negative 50. I think the coldest I've ever experienced yeah, is negative 16. Yeah, let's closer to the middle, right? Yeah, you know, right. I love a 40 and 50 degree bright sunny day. Oh, yeah. We can have, yeah, I can have a, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So, I mean, I, I, I you know, the, this, the, this is the only time, this is the, the, Texas is, you know, the winter storm was the only time I ever felt sort of traumatized by weather in my life. But, you know, at the same time, though, I also lived in Bakersfield, California for about seven years. And, you know, we had the grinding um, winter. We had the grinding summers. 
where it never cooled off and the air quality was horrible. Oh, look who's joining us now. The great and powerful Julie Davis now on the show. She is dealing with a household emergency, household crisis. Uh, okay. Julie Davis, uh, good morning. How good are you? Good morning. I'm all as well at home now. Okay, good. All but right. you know, we're talking to Janelle, by the way. Hi, Janelle. How are you? I'll put headphones good morning. On. She's saying good morning to you. Good morning. So uh, we're talking about we're talking about traumatic weather. Oh, okay. And we were discussing the fact that um, you know Kerrville has uh, this week is going to have Chamber of Commerce like weather. Sure. And mm-hmm. then the, and then Saturday and Sunday it might be a little iffy. Yeah. Monday might be iffy. Although the National Weather Service seems to be walking back a little bit I on know. their forecast. So calm down. Everyone. everyone relax it's gonna be That's fine right. That's right. so um uh, how are it's you texas we do three seasons a day if not That's right. right exactly we do three that's seasons right. a day absolutely that's that's one of the challenges of, of of living here for sure uh all right anything else going on with you uh, janelle as far as uh stuff and things what do you got Anything just else? excited about all the eyeballs coming and the calls starting to happen and people scheduling to see and um you know, we're, this is, we are on exhibition, properties, community, people, organization. Um, this is, you know, I, like I said before, I know what a huge, tremendous amount of work, like a hundred person wedding could be. Yeah. So this, right. is, this time's like 150,000 people. Yeah. So, know. you know, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna have our event. All right. And I think it's, I think it's cool. I think it's cool too, and uh, I appreciate you uh, for your first live remote. So great job! Yeah, very great. I yeah, missed it. We I missed it, but I know you did a great that. job. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good job. We'll uh, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you uh, next week for the post awesome. eclipse uh, breakdown. Post-eclipse. Happy eclipse! Yes. Thanks, Janelle. All right. We'll talk to you later. All right. Bye. Janelle Peralt uh, joining us here on the lead, and the great and powerful Julie Davis now here. Uh, we were just hey. talking. I was breaking down some things. Okay. Sorry uh, about no, this morning. No, it's all right. I was worried about you. I was like, I was too. Here. So everyone, my smoke alarm went off, and it's connected to my house alarm. So when you get a call, yeah, that you have a fire at your house, you, I was just like in my car. So I was right. like, Arr! I'm going home because I have two kitties in my house. Yeah, I wasn't even worried about my house. You weren't even worried about. I the was house like, at all. I got to catch my cats. Yeah, right, but you it gotta, was fine. You got to catch. It was the all cats. a lie. It's Panicked all for a nothing. Lie. Absolutely. But I got the fire department stopped before they got all the way over there. Oh, good. So Fantastic. Now we're fine. You're fine. You did, yeah. you did a good job with that. So, Thanks. <laughs> uh, I have no idea why it went off. That's a whole other issue we'll worry about tonight. So now, I mean, I mean let me peek at this forecast for a second because everyone was freaking out about it. So. I know. It's so, way too early to freak out about the see, weather because we know it changes L- Listen to this one. Today, 73 and sunny. Tomorrow, 76 and sunny. Thursday, 81 and Sunday. And mm-hmm. sunny. Friday, 79 and Sunday. Sunny. S- uh, sunny. Yeah. Sunny. Sunday, Sunday. Uh, Saturday, 75, mostly cloudy. Sunday, a 20% chance of thou- showers and thunderstorms. And 80. Yeah. Mostly sunny with a high near 80. Partly uh, cloudy with a low around 55 Sunday night. And then Monday, a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Partly sunny with a high near 80. Okay. That's Well, the- we just need the s- sky to break at the yeah, right time. Right. Uh, exactly. Right. Let me see if there's let's say the long term forecast. They're, they were having they they put some stuff in here. Uh, this will definitely have an impact on rain chances and sky cover on Monday, and we'll hope the next round of model data shows some consistency with regards to the forecast on Monday. For now, we keep a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the forecast for most of the re- region. Um, the, here's the, here's what they're saying, right? Okay, okay, so this is for uh, as the upper level system mentioned above continues to push eastward across the southern Rockies into the southern plains. Uh, where do we go here? Uh, uh, let me, let me, let me, let me lost my place here. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, Saturday into Sunday, some shower and thunderstorms are expected along the boundary. Saturday in night into Sunday with rain chances favored over the hill country into portions of the I-35 corridor near and north of Austin. Exactly how far the Pacific front pushes east-south is uncertain with the GFS, uh, I guess this is, this is one of their, mm-hmm. their terms, most aggressive in, uh, in showing the front near or just south of the coastal plains midday Monday. The east sea, the this knows no sign of the front will re- return southerly uh, flow well in place. This will definitely have an impact on rain chances and sky cover on Monday, and we will hope the next round of model data shows some consistency with regards to the forecast on Monday. 
For now, we will keep a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the forecast for most of the region. So, yeah, there you go. It's there, a chance, right, though? It's a chance. So there's still a 60% chance or whatever it is of sunshine. Of sunshine, yeah. More yeah. than likely, there's a chance of sunshine. And we've... We've never promised that it wouldn't rain or be cloudy. No, I know. And that's the thing. It's like <laughs> everyone's like the doom and glooners out there are like, <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. I saw someone who said, we need rain more than the eclipse. And I was like, well, I don't know. The eclipse only comes across, I mean, yeah. literally once in a lifetime. Right, well, like Can we have both? Yeah. Like, like nec- next, next, the we next don't have w- to give up all the rain. Yeah. The next one will be like in, like in 50 or 60 years. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So I'd know. still like to see it. I know. And, you know, it can rain at like three o'clock. Well, even if it, like I said, you it know, can rain in the morning. If it rains, Don't care. if it rains, even if it's cloudy and rain, it's yeah. still going to get dark as hell. Yes. It's yeah. going to be awesome. Yes. I'd like to be able to see the phases, but I'll yeah. live if it yeah. only gets dark. Yeah. I'd love to see the phases too, but yeah. I think I, who knows how it's going to work Yeah. Out. And from the beginning, the verbiage, I, it always kind of made me chuckle because it would, it said that Texas, Mexico and Texas have the best, they always said the best chances for clear skies. Mm-hmm. And when you looked, it was still like a 45% chance of cloudy skies. Yeah. So nothing's really changed. No, no. It's just that it, the chance for cloudiness gets worse as you go north through the U.S. Right, right. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so they're, um, you know, yeah. Chad Porty just making a comment here this morning uh, mm-hmm. from End of the Hills saying we were having people calling freaking out because of what they saw on a, on a weather app. Yeah, we are too. That's our number. So uh, for Three months, the number been one question's been where to park. Yesterday, it turned to, what's the weather going to yeah. do? Yeah. And none of us are meteorologists. So. Well, and then people seem to think that, like, it's just gonna, not going to happen, right? right. It's going to happen, folks. Yeah. You're still going to experience something you've never experienced before, you know, where, when, even if it's cloudy, like I said, it'll be dark. It'll be so dark. It's, inc- it's going to be incredible. Yeah. And, you know, I- even if you're... To experience that darkness in the middle of the day for four and a half minutes is worth the trip, you know. Right. But people, here's the thing too, right? I, I've, I've, I'm going to caution everybody on these weather apps. They're wildly unpredictable, mm-hmm. right? And here's the National Weather Service saying, look, we we don't feel confident in the model that we have at right. this point. We're, we're still seven <laughs> days out. It, things change. That's the weather. It's a forecast. It's a predictive uh, idea. It can change in a heartbeat. The only thing they can really do is give you a pretty good idea of how things are going to work. Now, because of these, the, you know, the, the the weather conditions, they're just not. They're just saying, you know, it's actually one of these weather apps. I think had at one point had like a seventy percent chance of mm-hmm. rain. I saw eighty five percent at one time. Yeah, I mean, like, and, yeah. and and the National Weather Service has never said that. Right. Never said that once. So I don't know where the hell they're making this stuff up, but it's probably Russian propaganda. So I maybe don't know. so. Might be. They're jealous of our eclipse. They are jealous of our eclipse. We were talking earlier though uh, about the Hill Country Arts Foundation. I went over there yesterday and yeah. I bothered uh, Jonathan and that crew over there uh, against their will. And they said, uh, you know, the first they get mad at me. They, they get did. really they get really mad at me about okay. the, the whole thing about one clause and. Oh, sacrifices. okay. I thought you were. They're mad at you about the weather. No, they're okay. not about that. They're okay right. with it. Um, you know, and and so. And they had they were smart. They had a no refund policy. Sure. You know, yeah. hey, look, you're gonna you're gonna buy this. You can't. It's too bad. You yeah, know? and I think that's the vast majority of what's happened. Um, they have to because yeah. the expense of putting on that event remains the same, right. whether one person shows up or a bunch. You um, know, so they have they have to do a no. There's gonna refund. be 2,300 people on their on their campus, mm-hmm. right? Now here's the thing, right? When when Ingram Tom Moore High School gets out of school, you know, it it's it, it it creates a little traffic jam. Sure. They have to have they have to put out a, a police guy to go out there and direct right. traffic. That's for a school of like four hundred kids. Right. You know. Yeah. So well hopefully since um, at the Hill Country Arts Foundation they have some that's going on, people will stagger out. Yeah. Hopefully it won't be mass exodus, right? Because right? they have music and food trucks and people are camping. Right. It just shows So if you, you're though, wise, you would yeah. stay another night. It just shows you though why the how powerful this event really is. Yes. You know. So for the naysayers out there, Jeremy Walter. Uh, it, it's you're gonna see some impact, you know, whether or not we have it's the impact that we think it could be, or it could be less of an impact. It's right. gonna be crazy. Um, so, but that's a good indicator. There's 2,300 people 
uh, Jenneth told me yesterday that they have people from Finland, England, Germany uh, returning to the fatherland. They're coming, they're, back, they're coming home. Uh, Germany, uh, a, a school trip from South Africa. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, the, some French uh, AP Associated Press teams coming yeah. out to, to hang out. So, I mean, they've got visitors. And then we had uh, Adrian Wingard yes, on the show yesterday from uh, Shrine University right. basically saying the same thing. Yeah. Sold I've out. I've seen tour buses, tours created for this eclipse as much as four or five years ago. People in China, Europe, all over right. selling tours for the great American eclipse. Don't say China. Oh, people Sorry, they were in there. Uh, and specifically, they were flying into San Antonio. Yeah. And then they were doing things throughout oh. Texas. Oh, nice. You know, so it's one of these things that you're signing up for a couple of weeks, probably. And then they were coming to Kerrville for the eclipse. And that was four and five years ago. All right. So um, we'll have people from all over. Those people, listen, if you are flying from Germany, mm-hmm. you are not going to cancel that trip. Right. 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 If if I buy uh, Leslie a bullhorn yeah. for, for for Monday, will we, 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 you be okay with that? We, <coughs> sure. Okay. So what is she gonna do with it? Yell at people. Yell Get people. out. Go. Get out. That Leslie would never be do gone. that. Be gone. Poof. Be gone. She would never do that. Um, the uh, that would be you. That would be me. Yeah. I would, I'd be happily doing that. All right. Thanks for joining us. Come on. <laughs> go uh, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. It's gonna be awesome, and there's so much to do this well, week and do this weekend, and so. I had radio shows this morning and I've been telling everyone, yes, it's going to be busy in Mm -hmm. town this weekend, but it's not going to be insane. It's normal for us to have a sold out weekend. It's normal for us to have a lot of people Mm -hmm. in town on a weekend. Mm -hmm. So don't stay home. Get out and go enjoy those events. Have a party at your house. Yeah. Have a party at your house on Monday. I think this weekend you should go have fun and go enjoy NASA's talking all over town, Mm -hmm. you know, Grape Juice, Rails, Quidoba, um, several other places are going to be open on Sunday when they normally aren't. Right, right. So, like, just go out and enjoy your community this weekend. Meet some new people. Have right. a good time. And then Monday, if you're worried about the traffic, fine. I have no idea what that's going to do. So stay home if yeah. you want. But, like, don't stay home all weekend. No, don't stay home all weekend. Uh, make sure that you get home and, and that you're you're enjoying, you know, your... your Unless you want to. But yeah, right, exactly. So It's, it's not going to be a bunch of... No. Crazy nuts coming. No, it's not. It's not. Not and mean uh, people. Yeah, not mean people. <laughs> so <laughs> They're people who want to enjoy the beauty right. of our town, right? right? They're they're friendly people. Right. Get it done, folks. Get it yeah. done. Yeah. I'm excited. Um, and I the would, wildflowers are gorgeous. They are gorgeous. Like, you never know from year to year how that's going to pan out. And right now, they're perfect. They're like, perfect. What a great time for a bunch of people to come to the Hill Country It'll and be, see it, that. It's, it, it's, it's so beautiful right now here. And I'm just so excited. We got a little about, more rain yesterday. Yeah, a little more rain yesterday. Yeah, the rain was nice last night. It was. It, it was a surprise. I got rained on coming out of Walmart. Did you? Mm-hmm. What were you looking for? What were you doing in Walmart? What were you looking for? I don't remember now. I went there earlier yesterday to, to get uh, some candy from the uh, the the, like some oh, of the Easter candy. Yeah, junkie. It's all gone. I was like, kind of like having to fight up this old lady. Mm-hmm. You know who won? Who, I did. Nice. I'm taller than she is. Okay. So she should have hit you they, harder. They had these Cadbury, those Cadbury, mm. you know, candy eggs. I love yeah. those things, right? So don't look at that. That's not that's not appropriate for you to it's, look at. It's absolutely not. <laughs> I was like, what's happening guess over you here? Gave okay. that to me. I have no idea. I'll give you one guess. Leslie? Oh God! No. <laughs> okay, I was like, Leslie. Brenda Hughes came. Oh, out okay, 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 okay. Sorry, yeah. sorry, guys. I got distracted by his desk. Yeah. So did you get him? I got, got yeah, okay. I got some weird there. Well, none of the good stuff is really, well, there was, there was some good. I got some of those horrible Brock's jelly beans. Oh, they're just yeah. terrible, but they're yeah. so good. You know, like the little, I white usually ones. go like starburst or something yeah, like that. I didn't have any of that, mm-hmm. but you know, if they, for 62 cents, it was a pretty good deal. That's true. Yeah. So I got, it those. was a sugar rush. It was a sugar rush. And I ate those yesterday in the office. So I'm, I'm a Robin eggs girl. Like, Ooh, that's yeah, what that's I really what want. That's what that lady was looking for yesterday. Yeah. Where are the mall today? So <laughs> we stopped Sunday, yeah. last minute, of course, because mm-hmm. I said, I need robin eggs. Right. And they didn't have any where we stopped. And then right. we went to one other place. So I said, well, I'll just steal Emerson's because my mom always makes them a crazy Easter basket. And yeah. my mom always puts robin eggs in every basket. Isn't that great? Emerson showed up, no robin eggs. I mean, my mom showed up, no robin eggs. What the heck? Yeah. John got the last bo- yeah. thing at Walgreens for me. Wow. 
Walgreens and uh, actually for Easter Lost candy, uh, CVS and Walgreens usually are pretty good places yeah. to find the discount. He said, "I'll be back." I'll be back. I love Easter, I love the Easter candy, and yeah. it doesn't love me anymore. So it's just yeah. Not good. I, I ate too many robin eggs yesterday. I didn't feel good. Yeah, Sorry. You're like, I, I haven't know. learned. I know. Forty nine years old. Forty nine. Still, still don't know when learned. to stop. Don't, don't know when to stop. I had the same issue with so like I ate those jelly beans yesterday. I'm like, oh god, that yeah. was. Terrible, mm -hmm. especially when you have to you, 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 you <laughs> whittle them down to the green ones and the orange ones, and you're like, ah, oh, these Fine, are terrible. I'll eat these. They did have yeah. a lot of black licorice jelly beans left yesterday. Like, who gives black licorice jelly yeah. beans? A whole bag of them. A whole bag of them. Who gives that gross. at at at, uh, at Easter? I don't what, know. What's that one? What's that about? That's the one I think is gross. Yeah, I mean, I chew on it, but do you? Oh yeah, yeah. You know, those, are, those are for the trash. Sure. Did you? Um, Someone was telling me had a had a thing on the other day about peeps being in the mm -hmm. trash, and I just wrote back to her blasphemy. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. So um, Emerson's first question when he got in and saw his basket from Mimi was, "When can I have a peep?" Yeah, like he's who oh, he, cares about the rest of it? He cares about it. Yeah. Yeah, and he went through his peeps. They're so disgusting, but so good at the yeah. same time. Yeah, you know, it's one of those things. Yeah. Uh, we're talking to Julie Davis about the Carmel Convention Visitors Oh, yeah. Bureau. We're not talking about Easter. That happened already. That happened already. Um, Easter is one of those, you know, that's one of those holidays where... I love Easter. Yeah, it's just terrific. So I was yeah. I was looking at something that was explaining the complexity of, of you know, when how the Easter mm -hmm. date is determined, you know. Okay. And it's like the first full moon after. It's super the, complex. The I looked it up one time, and, and you know. I said, "Well, I'll just wait for the calendar to right. tell me." Yeah. yeah, just tell me. I don't care. Yeah. I don't want to know. It's too much to think about. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it is hard when it's as as early as it yeah, was. Right. Yeah. It was very. Because you're like, wait, what? Is it March? March thirty. Yeah. What? March? Yeah. Shouldn't it be in April. Isn't yeah. that the deal? No. No. Because Easter apparently is origins, of course, like all of our holidays have some kind of pagan, you know, ritual type deal, you know, attached to them, you yeah. know, with the Roman stuff or whatever, whatever it was, the dark Greeks or whatever it was, you know, in the, at the time. So, well, but we got go. peeps out of it. We got peeps out of it. Yeah. And we got Cadbury eggs. And yeah, we, we got talked about, so we talked all about the candy Sunday as the grownups around the table, the different candies. And some people love those. Those are the ones actually I don't really care for. Yeah. All right. How about the uh, Reese's peanut butter eggs? Those are good. Those are good. Yeah. Yeah. We used to. Uh, that was my mom always looked forward to it because <laughs> those were the best. Yeah. You know, and there was like, there's nothing better than those. You know, they're better than the Reese's peanut butter cups. You yeah. Know? And Reese's. It took years for Reese's to figure out that. that yeah. That was a big deal. You know, right. like we're gonna do it for Christmas now. We have the trees and yeah. all that stuff. I feel like all the extra, like the peeps they do year round, mm. even the trees stuff. I don't yeah. know. It's just not as good as the original Easter. Right, right. I'm sure it's all in my head. Uh, uh, Debbie Lear, Lear Debbie, uh, mm -hmm. is uh, already filtering in to talk to a family from England yesterday. Uh, okay. So she's with uh, the United, United Way. United Way? That's what I thought. Yeah. So, yeah. She send helped a family from England yesterday? Send those English people back. Nah. Come on. Send them back. Come check it out. Come check it out. Um I wonder, how, uh, Chad. I wonder how you guys are doing with stuff. Uh, End of the hills. There, I don't know this week, but they were almost sold out of rooms last week. Like yeah. it was in the single digits, I think, yeah. last week. But we'll call around tomorrow. Right. right, and we got Russell under control, right? As far as I know, I hope so. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, staying out of that. We'll one. Staying another one. Yeah, uh, I'm going to plan to go. So I have uh, my buddies are coming in. Yeah, from, I have a friend California. coming too. Cool. Yeah, so they're coming in from California. One's flying, one's driving. <laughs> um, they'll be here probably Sunday. I tell them, don't, don't, do not risk coming on Monday. You know? No, yeah, no. Don't just get here. As My friends come in Saturday. I'm pretty excited. Just get here as soon as you can because, you know, we're going to be, we're going to be, and uh, by the way, I'm going to be working. Yeah, same. So That's what I said too. I'm going to be next to you guys. I'm going to, I'm going to, yeah. I'm determined to set up the next to you guys. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on in. Um, I also have a $50 gift card to, to Cracker Barrel. That's Cracker right. Barrel. We can just give, we just bring that and we can just make people bring us food. There you go. There we go. All yeah. right. Use gotta, that money. Uh, uh, we got to use it, right? Because I don't really go there. So, I don't yeah. All right. Sorry, uh, it does things, have good breakfast, though. Things, uh, what else is going on with the CVB? You know what? So, the CVB is busy yeah. um, answering questions and selling Curvil Eclipse shirts and glasses and trying to just coordinate all of this information into one place on the curvilleclipse.com. Mm -hmm. So, 
probably something, I don't know if we've said it enough, but go to curvilyeclipse.com so you can look up those traffic maps. I see a lot of misinformation happening. Mm. A lot of people saying like, just randomly on Facebook, they're like, oh, a Cindy Baker's going to be shut down or whatever they've come up with on their own. Right. So if you go to curvilyeclipse.com, there is a button that says traffic maps or traffic plans or something like that. It's like a traffic light. It's right. pretty obvious. When you click on that, you're going to have what KPD's plan is for road closures, the county, things like that. So go there and figure it out. Don't believe Facebook. Right. And I saw someone on one of your posts yesterday. I can't remember what you posted about, but Julie Barron's got on there and was like, go to curvilyclips.com for the traffic plans. Cause yeah. you know, they were already going down that rabbit hole. Um, so yeah, because they're not paying attention. Yeah. You know, which is a real, yeah. it was so. a real issue. I, in fact, I, I kept meaning to put it on my site yesterday. I'm going to, I'm going to make it be intentional today and get it out there yeah. because there's going to be so much, um, you know, so much going and on. And just plan. There's no, we don't need to panic, but we need to plan. Yeah. Right? right. So fill up your gas tank this week so that you're not in the line waiting for gas right. if they really are um a hundred thousand people here yeah um go ahead and get your groceries for the week just so you don't have to be an h-e-b with everyone yeah. else not because they're going to be out of all their food but like why deal with h-e-b mm -hmm. with yeah. a bunch of extra people no offense oh, h-e-b no offense h-e-b yeah but um the grocery stores are planning to have extra food and water the things that people buy but mm. like visitors are not in there getting hamburger helper no. right no, they're getting no. bottled water right. snacks fruit whatever so get that ahead of time fill your medicine ahead of time just make plans so that you aren't on monday going oh no i right. need whatever it is yeah exactly so. um by the way i'm testing out new technology today on the show okay uh we are we are we are uh, we have 30 seconds to our first slide of of advertisers so okay. I'm, I'm trying to segment do the show do do yeah do. So we're the, we're the, we're approaching this thirty second mark. So you have okay, thirty seconds to squeeze in, something in. Okay. So then a new then, then a an new, ad will go on. Then an ad will go and on. And then you'll tell me when to talk again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, plan. Look at the traffic maps. See what events are happening. NASA is going to be all over town. Check those out. What mm -hmm. a cool experience for yeah. you. Yeah, I mean, uh, there, and the stuff that Shriner's got alone is yeah. incredible. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. I'm Get out on the river trail. I'm it's see gorgeous. This is work or not? This yeah, is no, very exciting. It's a lot of pressure. Also, if you know yeah, people, five seconds. parking, parking, it's parking. also on curvilleclips.com. Okay. And yeah, it's really well done. So, oh, there it is. It worked. Yay. Yay! Peterson Health. Okay. Uh, I was like, who's the ad? And the ad is for Peterson Health. So there you go. And then uh, how long does the ad go? For 15 seconds. And then okay. we have another ad. So oh. there you go. All right. Listen, here's the thing, folks. Uh, speaking of ads, I got, I got to do, do a plug here. Okay. This is Lewis's plugs. Kalichi Coffee. Uh, this is what we're drinking this morning here. Uh, this is the Ethio Ethiopian blend. Um, I'm drinking right now the Hill Country blend. Uh, Kalichi coffee is is uh, roasted over in the F word. Uh, 338 West Main Street in Fredericksburg. Uh, visit them today. Or pick up a, a, a bag here at Pine Plow tomorrow and enjoy it. We'll have this uh, samples available tomorrow. Nice. Here. And... Uh, I brewed it this morning, and mine, the, the Hill Country blend is chocolate walnut mm. with dark notes. Okay, whatever that means. Oh, it's kind of like wine. When it tells you what's in it, you're like, okay, sure. This smells nice, though. Yeah. I think so. Anyway, that's uh, the Caliche brand. That's with Armadillo on it and the Roadrunner. And who the knew back. that yeah. we'd be drinking Caliche? Yeah, Caliche. Yeah, Caliche coffee. So, nice. All right. Uh, but there's things going on this week outside of the Eclipse. Yeah. Now we 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 published on Sunday 119 events, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then I saw Maya who does my calendar stuff, and she's like, "Uh, I think I missed a couple." Right? Yeah, you're like, actually. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, it, and we were, I was telling her, I said, you know, if we broke out the Kerr Clips Festival over at the oh Kerr Folk yeah, Festival, it'd be. There's, I mean, there's so many, there's so much music going on there. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. We 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 didn't even we didn't even get it halfway done so right so there you go yeah. yeah there's a lot going on also the other question people are asking is where to find a curval eclipse shirt lots of places uh gibson discount center's got gibson's got them yeah. walmart has them rustic elegance has them right. boutique m curval shriner park city hall our mm -hmm. office yeah i know more that they're not coming to my head 
but I've seen, I think the new sports bar in downtown posted, they have one. Billy mm-hmm. jeans has one. Yeah. Billy so, jeans. Yep. Throw a rock, you'll find an eclipse shirt. All right. Uh, I'm going to say that uh, uh, the only thing I'm looking forward to, I'm going to go buy one of these, is the uh, poster that's yeah. framed. Yeah. The, the poster is really cool. The poster's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, and there's 323 frame- Bakery's doing stickers. Yes, they're open. Sorry. they're going to be wide open too. Yeah. They're going to be open on uh, on Monday. Yeah, a lot of restaurants are going to be open, and they're I'm gonna excited be, about gonna that. They're going to be barbecuing as well nice. on Monday. So there you go. Uh, I'm excited about. Um, well, I'm excited about a lot of things. You know how I am. I get excited about this kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was supposed to talk about events, but yeah. well, I you, just remembered we get okay. lots of t-shirt questions. And yeah. then glasses. You can find glasses all over too. Right. Um, and the ones we know about, we listed on that website, but right. we don't know about all of them. All right. What do you have for us? All right. Fiber and Jewelry Art Show going on at the Hill Country Arts Foundation right now. You can go check out. At some point, they will be close to the public, though, because of the eclipse. But right. this week, you can go yeah. during the week. Get it done. Cards and Cultural Center has several different exhibits going on, including the Kaleidoscope and Quilt Show and an eclipse-themed exhibit and the cool thing that KACC is doing is they're going to be open on Sunday to show that off when we have all these visitors they're not normally open so they're changing their hours right um the library book sale goes on on the third one to three o'clock wild west wine Wednesday at the museum and western art is tomorrow at 5 30 they're doing beer yeah that's cool um Shriner University's totality eclipse at Shriner University kicks off on the fourth uh, let's see. We talked about those exhibit Shriner mansion tours on Thursday, 10 to two sprouts on the fourth, 10 30 every Thursday. It is a preschool reading, um, program at Riverside nature center. So go check that out. Take mm-hmm. your pre-K kiddo, uh, 12 angry men is going to be the show for Arcadia lives, iconic film series on Thursday at seven o'clock. So yeah. get tickets for that. Ingram has a watch a dragon devour the sun, totally eclipse watch party going on this weekend you can check that one out we talked about Shriner and the fiber art show one-on-one with a naturalist friday 10 to 2 river's edge gallery has an eclipse weekend going on several different things happening throughout the weekend there and that's listed on the website Kirk clips kicks off on friday so live music out at the folk festival grounds quiet valley ranch all weekend through the eclipse I've been calling it a mini folk festival. I don't know if that's where that they're calling it, but it is that's what I termed festival. it. Right. I'm sure I didn't come up with that on my own, but yeah. there's um, a Camarada San Antonio string quartet in case you want something totally different over at the Presbyterian church at four o'clock on the fifth Texas Lions camp is having an eclipse sep- celebration um, on the fifth at the Hook- Hill Country Youth Event Center. Sorry, I can't talk. That's okay. Neither can I. Brigadoon opens um, at the Callow Theater. Brigadoon. Yeah, and they'll have um, opening dinner this Friday at 6. So you have to reserve that because yes. they cater a dinner from Rails. So right. you need to look that up quickly. You may have missed the boat for the dinner. But you can still get tickets for the show. Live music at Cafe at the Ridge. Um, live music. Well, this I'd have to read too much to tell you quickly where this one is. But Bruce Robeson is going to be somewhere. Uh, Arcadia. Arcadia. Okay, thank you. Yes. Don't, it doesn't pop up on the app. Well, we're going to have to fix that. Um, karaoke at the Inn Cafe. So Bruce Roberson, I'm sorry, is on the 5th, everybody. Yes. Brigadoon, we talked about. Hillside Harvest Market is on Saturday. I bet someone will be selling Eclipse shirts there. I'm sure. It's I'm just sure. a guess. I should have had some made. Um, we talked about all those events that are going over the weekend. Saturday Farmer's Market also going on. I bet there'll be an Eclipse there, too. Yeah, sure. right. Um, what's this one? Center Point has an Eclipse Festival yeah. going on this weekend right. on Saturday. Uh, Kirklips we talked about. The Texas Lions Camp Festival still going on over the weekend as well. That's for their 75th anniversary, right? It is. Yeah. yeah the, it just so happens it coincided with an eclipse. So mm. make the best of it, right? Right. Cafe at the Ridge has live music. Um, Heartbreak Outlaws. Where are they going to be? Do, do, do. Uh, End of the Hills, 1001 End of the Junction hills. Highway. End of the Hills. More Eclipse events we've talked about. Jack, uh, jackpot roping going on on the 7th. That's probably gravity check if I had to guess. Yeah. I don't like how this doesn't show where it is. Leslie and I are going to have to talk. Okay. Pink Floyd uh, Laser Spectacular at the Callow Theater Sunday at 7.30. I know a lot 730. of people who are excited about that. I do, too. I don't really care for Pink Floyd that much, but, you know. Thanks I, for saying that. I know. But That's pe- how I feel. Yeah, I'm like. 
I remember like when I was in high school, all these people, oh, Pink Floyd. Yeah. It's what? Get out of I here. I don't want to un- I don't want to date myself. It's a little bit older than me. Yeah. So it wasn't my me too. thing. And so I asked John if he would care about going and he was like, No, not really. It's so, for the it's for the yeah. if, if your parents were like stoned in the seventies, yeah. which probably was a lot but of parents. Lots of people are excited. They've sold a lot of tickets. Yeah. I think there's still a few left. Yeah. Go check it out. That's why I'm telling people not to stay home. I mean, I had a very 730 on Sunday, you can go see a laser light spectacular at the Callow Theater. Uh, Don't than, stay home. Other than my parents' spectacular divorce in 1980, I had a pretty benign childhood, I think, for the okay. most part. You know? My parents weren't really into 70s music. Yeah, my I parents were into 70s music, but they were also like, you know, we also had a healthy dose of show tunes. So. Okay. That's nice. Yeah. Um, what? I love that. There's a star party at Cafe at the Ridge on the 7th at yeah. 8.30. Uh, a solar eclipse event at the Sculpture Prayer Garden on the 8th. Um, obviously, the event in Ingram. There's two that I know of in Ingram. Um, one at the Hill Country Arts Foundation in Stonehenge. And um, the other one, I think, is somewhere else. But that's the solar eclipse watch party. Mm-hmm. Dragon Eat a Sun. It has a long name. Uh, Shriner has their event. The Kerrville Eclipse Festival, of course, in Louise Hayes Park from 10 to 5. Live music, vendors, NASA will be there. Lots of cool stuff. Yeah. River's Edge Gallery has an event. The Ridge Marketplace is going to have an event. Kerr Eclipse is still going on. Um, I saw a post. It's not on the calendar, but I saw a post yesterday about all the downtown businesses that are going to be open. Um, I thought I took a screenshot, but I didn't. But like Fairy Moon or right. someone shared... It's going to be hard. About what downtown's doing. It's going to be hard. I'm going to have to put a thing out there. It's like, if you're going to be open, please let us know. Yeah. Uh, We reached out and heard back from a few, but not, I mean, it wasn't, I shouldn't say a few, but not enough. And then we were making calls, but there's too much else happening to make all the calls. But I saw Busted Sandal will be open the day of the eclipse, and they've got some specials going on. You know, um, Off Main has a special drink, two special drinks Mm -hmm. for that weekend and the day of the eclipse. Um who else have I seen? I've seen so many people having special. I think Basement did something special. Yeah. So right. there's a lot of cool things to check out. A lot of cool out. things to check out. So there you go. All right. Yeah. Good deal. Uh, well done. There's oh, also thanks. Shriner uh, Softball this weekend, too, by the oh, way. Yeah? Saturday and Sunday, doubleheaders. Uh, Very cool. And I hate to tell you guys, Shriner's going to get their heads kicked in. But oh. you know what? Texas Lutheran is really good. So if you like softball, go check it out. There is a Curvil Eclipse Facebook page. And... Pretty much this week, I've just been spamming it, sharing what other people in town are saying they're going to yeah, do. Right. So if we didn't get it on our calendar, hopefully I've shared it. Like I can't put on that busted sandal is going to have drink specials on my calendar because right. it's not relative to an event calendar. Right. But I shared it to that Curville Eclipse Facebook page. Um, the T-shirts that I've seen, I've shared to that page. The Star Party at Cafe at the Ridge. Any kind of merchandise. Discover downtown a unique eclipse experience. And they all have special hours. And it lists what they have is on there. Um, traffic plans from the county. Whatever. By Whatever's way, got. Fades get, Barbershop has a T-shirt. Gibson's so, like, if I've Discount seen it, I've just shared it. has got all that cool stuff. They do. So you, you need go. to go get some. Yeah, Aurora Jolene did some custom shirts that are cool. What? Yeah, Worth, you can get them at Fairy Moon or at Sweet D's. We need to get her on here and mm-hmm. talk about that. Mm-hmm. So, because they're, they're cool, they're cool. Oh yeah, those are cool. Yeah, and she'll be selling them at the festival too. Yeah, right. So, okay. Good lots job. of stuff. Lots of stuff. Well done, everybody. Uh, real quick, the uh, I just mentioned I'll we'll have coverage today of the uh, candidate forum that the uh, Democrats are putting on, and uh, we expect uh, the candidates to be there except for Roman Garcia. And, of course, Barbara Jill Ferguson wouldn't be there because she hates Democrats. Uh, she has the big baseball bat to bust up rhinos. So if you're a Democrat, you're already going to be busted up under her plan. So, Well, on a happy note, I want to mention one more thing yeah. I saw. Well, Fancy yeah. Finch Tea Cottage is doing special f- something for the Eclipse. Oh, nice. So they've got, like, like different. Have you been there yet? Cute? I haven't. You need to go. So they've got stuff They're going on. They're very lovely people over there. Basement Brewers has a special thing going on. So that's why I want everyone to get out this weekend because yeah. all of our local businesses are really excited. They're doing all these fun yeah. things. They're and as up. locals, we should go enjoy it too. Yeah, exactly. So go do it. Get it done. Get, get it, it done. done. All right. Spend some money in Carville. Spend some money, people. That's right. Get it done. We were on the Today Show. Off Main Brewery got mentioned in Forbes because of their specialty drinks for the eclipse so really yeah 
Uh, and uh, the Shriner guy mentioned by the BBC. See? See? And there's tons of other places. The Washington and Post wrote possibly the laziest story I've ever seen. You oh, know. yeah? Uh, they did an Eclipse story. And I'm like, you know, it must be really great to be the Washington Post. Can you just go in there and you just start, start talking about stuff? And uh, you just call them, I'm from the Washington Post. And they'll, boom, they'll get right back to you. So they did Bandera. They skipped us completely, even though we're yeah, someone the reached out. And Fredericksburg, and yeah. then they did Erie, Pennsylvania. Someone reached out, and I'm mixing them up because we had the New York Times and the Washington Post at the same yeah. time. And Julie Barron's reached out to one. I reached out to the other because we were trying to divide and conquer, and one of them never called back. And so I think it was the Washington Post. Mm. Yeah, I mean, right. sometimes if you don't can't answer them immediately, they them move on right. and. Sometimes we're talking to seven other news outlets. Yep, exactly. It's going to be a crazy. Literally, literally, literally. All right. We're trying, folks. Oh, uh, you know what else? Yeah, what else? Go ahead. Everyone needs to give everyone some grace this yes. next week. I know. We need to do it all the time, but especially and this it, next and week. And if you don't, they don't want to give it to you, then yeah. kick them out. Let's be nice be, get around to each other. other. All right. Thanks a lot. We'll Thanks. see you. Uh, we'll see you on Friday. Maybe. Yeah, Friday. I may not be here next Tuesday. Yeah, you'll have to take the day off. That's yeah, I uh, wish. Leslie Jones is going to have her uh, cathartic cry on on Tuesday. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining thanks. us here. We'll see you guys again tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day, everybody. Uh, also, thanks to Peterson Health for putting this on. Yeah. Bye. Everybody.